Ivanka just stepped out in soaring DC temps and everyone immediately noticed one shocking thing on her, if there's one thing that has not changed for the Trumps since becoming the first family, it's their love of fashion and looking absolutely impeccable, everywhere they go. This is especially true of the president's oldest daughter Ivanka. The Trump family has been criticized for everything from being successful with money to just wanting to hang around one another, and the liberals aren't letting up anytime soon. Ivanka's position as White House adviser was a hotly disputed move by President Trump, since so many people felt like she wasn't qualified, despite her Ivy League education, and successful business ventures and the fact that she's decided to forego payment and donate any compensation for her services. Anyone on the left would tell you that they think the president needs someone to temper him, and Ivanka has said that she would without a doubt give her honest opinion no matter what and that opinion differs from her dad's on many things. Still, though, the drama continues. Via Daily Mail, Ivanka Trump was the epitome of chic as she stepped out of her Washington, D.C. home on Friday, one day after choosing to skip her father's announcement that he was withdrawing the U.S. from the Paris Climate Change Treaty. The 35-year-old mom sported a short, sleeveless black and white dress, taking full advantage of the soaring Washington, D.C. temperatures which are expected to reach 82 degrees on Friday, her first day back in the office after a two-day break. Her beaming smile certainly hid any underlying stress that may be plaguing the first daughter as a result of President Trump's decision to pull the U.S. out of the Paris Accord, a move which went against the advice of his daughter and her husband Jared Kushner. Ivanka was noticeably absent from the Rose Garden on Thursday, when her father made the announcement that he would be withdrawing from the Paris Accord making the U.S. one of only three countries not to be involved in the agreement, along with Syria and Nicaragua. But despite President Trump openly going against her advice, Ivanka couldn't have looked more happy and carefree on Friday as she left her home, having spent the previous two days enjoying some time with her family, while also observing the Jewish holiday of Shavuot. Stepping out of her house in a short monochrome dress with a low V-neckline, Ivanka added a touch of glamour to the black and white ensemble in the form of a bold red lip. She also paired the frock with a black and white patterned clutch and $120 block-heeled sandals from her eponymous collection. Ivanka's long blonde hair was side-parted and pulled back into an elegant bun at the nape of her neck. On Thursday evening, Ivanka took to Twitter to share her support for the LGBTQ community. Although the White House has come under fire over its record on gay rights, Ivanka posted a message wishing the LGBTQ community a joyful Pride Month. The president's eldest daughter called on followers to honor the LGBTQ community in a series of tweets, sharing her support while her father has been criticized for not proclaiming June to be Pride Month. Ivanka, referring to the two-day Jewish festival of Shavuot, wrote, logging back on after Shavuot, wishing everyone a joyful hashtag Pride 2017. This month we celebrate and honor the hashtag LGBTQ community. Yesterday, the White House issued a string of proclamations, which marked June as National Home Ownership Month, African American Music Appreciation Month, Great Outdoors Month and National Ocean Month, but LGBT Pride Month was not included. These people really need to make up their minds as to what they want to be mad about. They're mad when they're supported, they're mad when they're not supported. They're mad when President Trump hires his daughter, but then they're mad when that same daughter doesn't use her position, which they didn't want her to have, to protect their so-called rights. And they also want to make a huge deal out of her disagreeing with her dad, but also say that she doesn't disagree loud enough. Whether you and I agree with Ivanka's positions on the issues at hand or not one can still appreciate that she's doing her job advising her father, the president, and then moving on even if he doesn't take her advice. The thing that people in the media seem to be forgetting is that a properly functioning family can disagree within itself and still get along. So if you're upset that Ivanka is smiling even though your issue didn't get settled in just the way you wanted, you don't know how conflict resolution works. The president and his advisor slash daughter aren't on bad terms, they're both doing their job in the way that they think is best. We're so sorry if their functional working relationship upsets you. Hashtag sorry not sorry. Source, Daily Mail, share if you think that President Trump made the right choice making Ivanka an advisor.
Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.